part of it so I can remember it. What are you gonna try to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's the solo, so uh, one more time. He's gonna try to dole that solo. Oh, he'll do it. Check it out. Okay, I'll try it. May have to punch the last part. Holy shit, here it comes. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> that's so incredible. I need to get that. <laughs> Insanity. So Damn. let me, uh, let me, let me hear that last part. I got to get the the syncopation with the pedals. Hey, let me punch that right there on that track, and then it'll be easy to double. You want to punch the lead track? Oh, you say you want to punch the lead track? Yeah, the lead track, and then I'll double double that part. Let me do that whole part right there. That'll that'll be great. Uh, one more time. Sorry, I'm making this complicated. Okay, one more time. I've got it now. Okay, I'll now I'll double that, that part of it. Yeah, Polly. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Amazing. So fucking amazing. Okay, I don't. Do you think we should double any more? I don't think so. I'm, no, but, I think yeah. we're good, man. That sounds special. All right, thanks. Really great work. Thank you. Yeah, Where are you out of, man? <laughs> How long do you play, though? <laughs> y'all dance on yeah. your breaks? Yeah, y'all. <laughs> Dude, amazing. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Oh. Jesus, God. Only because of you. <laughs> Dude, um, how the hell did you learn how to play like that? Uh, smoke and mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Franklin, guess, world's greatest steel player from, from the strangest place. Yeah. You would never think a steel player would yeah. come from. A home of steel guitar, pedal, pedal steel guitar, that is, Detroit. Detroit, <laughs> Michigan. Yeah. And we were just talking out there when we were having lunch. You moved here in 72. Yeah, 1972 and, uh, I was 17 and I yeah. had a job. I had met, uh, Barbara Mandrell's father, Irby, who right. was a Moss Rite. You know, dealer, yeah, like, like you know, right. a, yeah. a guy that traveled and tried to sell sure. the guitars. He heard me play, and uh, anyway, he said, "Hey, my daughter plays steel. She's gonna be a big star." Damn. <laughs> he wasn't wrong, but anyway, they they moved me to town at seventeen. And... Amazing, man. People say you listen to your headphones really loud. So. Oh, you want to hear it? Well, I mean, let's just. <laughs> well, well, here's what I was doing. Let's. Well, wait till they crank it up. George, how you doing, George? Like, need a part. Yeah. They're gonna roll a bit of it. Yeah. Let's just see. I don't think they're that loud. I, I got mine loud too. Yeah, I, I have to hear it loud. Yeah. And you know what? See. They're not going to play it for us. They're not going to play it. That's all right. Yeah. Well, good. Okay, play. got it. We'll get uh, it one last time. question. I'll leave you alone. Okay. This guitar <laughs> you're playing, your father made, yeah? Yeah, yeah. My my father, uh, 
what happened was I my first pedal steel was a Fender 400. Damn. And I was eight years old, and they were obsolete, you know, because the the instrument had uh, evolved where steel players were lowering and raising the same strings on different pedals. Yeah, yeah. On a Fender guitar, you could only raise right. or lower on nice the album. guitar. Right. So, yeah. and, and everybody told my dad, you got to get this kid off this guitar. I was eight years old. And, and uh, so anyway, there was a two-year wait on Show Buds and Emmons, which is what everybody was playing in Nashville. Really? A two-year wait? two-year wait. So he, my uncle had a body shop. My dad looked at it and he said, hell, I can build one of them. <laughs> Are you kidding? And that's how, he, that's how he got into it. So he made my first steal and immediately started to realize all, all the mistakes that he made. The second one was innovative. The second one is the one that got him a job doing all the endorsed players for Showbud. Amazing. And he had an offer with MSA and and with the Emmons, and he moved to Nashville because of Showbud, you know, and took the Showbud gig. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, now it's cranking. Is that loud? Yeah. Oh yeah. Here it is. <laughs> here y'all. Check this out. <laughs> Sounds damn good. Oh yeah, it's loud. <laughs> Hey, amazing. get amazing. your homeschooling t-shirts, guys. Let me tell <laughs> yeah. you what happened. We were farm aid at yeah. Stapleton. Yep. And, you know, during the day, I, I, I like wore a different shirt. But then I put on the homeschooling shirt. Yeah. Man, everybody's going, I love that shirt. Love that. Oh, you know, love that site. So, man. Uh, dude, I love you it. You guys are changing the. Oh, the homeschooling. Which one yeah, did I give you? What's the design? I can't remember which one I gave you. The one, the black one with the homeschool. Real cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with, okay, dude. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Who's, who's this drummer that you brought in? Who's uh, this guy? This guy right here. He's. I think he's going to make the audition, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No. Yeah, it's hard to keep up. With you know, they bring in some LA cats for this one. Yeah. <laughs> and this one's right. There's one of them right here. Legends. Yeah. yeah. Victor and Drizzo. Oh, man. Yeah. Dude. Remember we talked about this last time? Yeah. Symbol on symbol action? I just love that shit. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, who was the first guy to ever do that? Where did you ever you see know, that? I'm not sure. I, I, I started doing it as a kid yeah. because I had two shitty broken symbols. You're right. And I figured that they sounded better on top of each other than they did just broken. You know what, I, I, I used to, uh, I used to, you know, I've always been fascinated with drums, even though I'm a shitty drummer. I could barely play at all, but I, I love drums. Um, you know, a lot of guys like really shitty, cheap cymbals yeah. for the effect that they give you. Yeah. Remember cambers? Oh, yeah. Like the worst cymbals ever. I love all that shit. Yeah. Do you buy that type of stuff? When you... I do. I like, yeah. I look on eBay for the old shit. Oh, I, I really love old tambourines, too. That's yeah, old tambourines. You got a shit ton of them? I got way too many of them. Do you really? Yeah. Are there any tambourines that are super collectible? Like Ludwig. Worth, worth a old, fortune? Old Ludwig ones yeah. go for a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Um, show us what this double symbol thing does, yeah. if you don't mind. It literally is just symbol on top of symbol, and then like that loose, and then if you tighten it up, you get a whole other ball game. I don't know if this guy built. It's funny, sometimes it won't catch. Any confessions, George? There we go. Cool. That was great. You get it tight. Yeah, it's like a different hi hat. Yeah, yeah so sometimes like a yeah, hi hat, hi-hat. sometimes you use like a symbol. Play us a groove with two hi hats, if you don't mind. I'm putting you on the spot. so honored to get to play with you. I love you too, buddy. It's true. Dude, I love There's you. There's something in your playing that's, uh, it just sets me on fire. Oh, and it dude. just. We've always had a thing, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. We've always had it. From the first time I got to play with you. Oh, dude. You're a dude. You're sweet, like, dude. I think 2015. Yeah. Yeah. Julian brought yeah. us in together, and I'm yeah. glad he did. I love you, buddy. I love you too. All right, man. Signing off, homeschoolers. Yeah. Bye bye.